What is up everybody, Busted Boy here. We are on to the next episode. The last episode was really short. Um, I showed off the last portion of the game. I will be doing every single one of those to the end. Um, we're going to be doing... We're going to work on getting that last weapon that we need to turbo slam. Uh, we're going to be working on that. I did get all the other ones beforehand. Like I said, I... Like I said in the last episode, I tried so fucking hard to try to um, get a fresh playthrough, but it just would not erase. Because if I'm doing a Let's Play, I like to have a fresh playthrough, because so that way I can relive it again, you know? But unfortunately, it just was not to be. Alright, so there we go. We got fully upgraded, both these fully upgraded. Alright, so let me equip this, equip this. Equipped and equipped. I equipped. Alright, so there we go. We've got those relics. Okay, so we're gonna try our new and improved warrior. Let's do this. First, we're gonna change the equipment. Oh well, there we go. Can't change the equipment, but it's okay. It's all right. We're still gonna go and make some more money. Uh, we're gonna make that money, that money, money. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna try to do like two more freaking levels in this game. I mean this this playthrough, but really, it really solely depends on how long it is, and I'm popping trophies left and fucking right in this game. What the hell? Alright, we got this shit. Mm -mm -mm. No, you killed the freaking... Oh, you serious? I can tell what this is gonna be right now. Oh, fuck. I can tell these guys are gonna just shoot the damn everything, so... It's like, kill everything, including the food. Oh, you need that food? Oh, that's just too fucking bad, bitch. You ain't getting a damn thing. Did you really think you were gonna, like, get food this this game? At all? Like, ever in existence of ever? No? Yeah, you did? Well, I got news for you, buddy. It's not happening. You're not getting food. Fuck that. Food is for the fucking weak, bitch. not being greedy. Wow, someone's actually not being greedy. That's different. That moment where you're used to somebody being greedy, you're so used to people being greedy that you, that when they let you have your money back, you just don't know what to do. Yeah. Like, should I take it, or is it a trap, or what What the hell's going on with this? So I'm just gonna take this and roll with it. Thank you, kind sir. Fuck you, and have a nice day. Bitch! Wow. You would land on the damn spikes. The money just happens to land right there on the spikes. Whoa, you all just left. Really? All that money we missed out on? We missed out on so much money because they just left. Wow. That's... <laughs> but yeah, like I said, we're going to do the other portion of this game... We're gonna do the other ones that I tried to erase beforehand. We're gonna go there and we're gonna go them all in order. I've already did these with a friend. I didn't even mean to, honestly. I didn't know that was gonna happen. I didn't know it was gonna unlock like that. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do everything. Um, do it all. Tell it all 
documentary. That's what this is, ladies and gentlemen. A tell-it-all documentary. The documentary that nobody's ever gonna fucking see. That's what it is. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Alright. So yeah, in the last... I think it was this ep last episode or the episode before that. I was sitting on things like important bills and shit. I was like, it was all over the bed because I have yet to. Re I was rearranging before I started recording, so I took a break from that. And I sat, I sat some bills on my bed, and I just started sit. I sat all over the damn bills like a fat ass. I was like, dude, it's just all over the damn place. Chill, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? We smoke it. Really? You would go the polar opposite way that we were gonna go. Fuck you. Dude! This is one of the reasons why I don't really like playing online. With the randoms, because they just go back. And he threw a bitch fit like a big baby. Just because we didn't go that way that he wanted to go. He cried like a little bitch and left. Not even salty, not even mad. That's usually how it works, like, I wanna go this way. Oh, you don't want me to go, you don't wanna go that way? Well, fine. Then I'm just gonna leave your game. Like, that's gonna make it any better. Run away, that's not how, that's not. <laughs> that's not how you do it, man. I don't run away when I don't go, like, the opposite. Like, when I, I mean, when I don't go one way, particularly when I want to, Okay, um, like I was saying before my controller died. Sorry about that. Um, just because I don't go a particular way I want, don't want to. Well, just because I don't go a particular way I want to, doesn't necessarily mean I have to cry about it. You know, but I don't cry about it. I don't, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not, it's like, oh, you didn't go that way I wanted you to go, so I'm just gonna leave. I'm not that kind of person at all, you know? I try, I'm pretty, I'm pretty lenient, I'm pretty level-headed now. I never used to be, but I used to be a temperamental little fucking brat, but I'm glad I'm not like that no more. Ever since this whole YouTube thing, though, this, this YouTube thing, they say it, they say you really know who you really are if you step out of your element, like, if you still okay, what I was trying to say is they say if you step out of your element it realize who you are and when I started YouTube I was not like the kind of person that just expressed my feelings you know I wasn't really that kind of person I know I just said that I was temperamental but I was I had a temper I got mad quick like because well that was the only way I knew how to express myself. But I found other ways of expressing myself now, you know? I found other ways besides getting mad at things. Like entertaining all of you. And telling these stories to you while I'm playing a game. Because it's just, that's the way to go. It's cool and I'm glad you guys are interested and I died. On that note, great. That's one of many deaths that are going to happen this playthrough. Yeah, so... That's yeah, crazy, man. This, this, this level is... I've played this level, like I said, a couple of times. But... This is actually the first time... Well, second time I'm fully playing through this game. I played through it on Steam. I don't really memorize all the levels. But I'm trying my best here. I'm doing what I can. Now we'll go this way. Just because. Okay then fine. We'll go this way. And you know what? 
Yeah, I was gonna kick him. Alright, let's, let's try to make it a win this time. Let's try to make this one a win. Because if you want to win, make it a win. That's the dumbest fucking catchphrase ever. If you want to win, make it a win. Like, seriously, that was a real catchphrase. Titus O'Neil said it back when he first started in the WWE and NXT. He's like, if you want to win, make it a win. Like, that doesn't make any sense. If you want to win, make it a win. That's like saying, if you want to shoot a basket, shoot a basket. Or if you want to hit a basket, shoot higher in basketball. If you want to play hockey, you need a hockey puck. Well, no shit, Sherlock. If you want to win, make it a win. Well, duh. Because if you want to win, we're going to lose. Even when I lose, I win. That would have been better off. Like, you know, better. A better catchphrase than just, if you want to win, make it a win. I mean, I know Titus O'Neil is over right now. Like, he is so fucking over in WWE. It's not even funny. The fans are really definitely behind him. But, you know, I'm like, dude, that catchphrase was really stupid. And people are supposed to take somebody seriously like that. That's the thing. Saying if you want to win, make it a win. That was kind of their point, you know? I kind of feel what they're doing. But Titus O'Neil has since gotten a whole lot better. In my opinion, he is far better superstar than Darren Young, in my opinion. I, I really think that Darren Young isn't really that good. I think he's overhyped. I think... Yeah, he's got one move he's got a gut buster I've taken a gut buster before that that's not that's that really fucking hurts but it's not gonna put you down for a three it's not gonna put you down for a three count you know and and I guess um I guess my partner has left uh code demo has left uh so it's just me now me and some people, some randoms. And, um, holy crap. Alright, so it's just me then. Cool. Uh, maybe when Codemo gets back, we'll do some, but I think he kind of got out of the game. I didn't even realize he was out of the game, so, yeah. I was just carrying it on. Like nobody's business. Alright, here we go. I'm probably gonna start tagging, like, everybody in here to help me with this, but... I'm gonna ask them... Start asking for permission if they want... You know, if they want to make the video with me or whatever. I'm gonna start doing that more. Like, start asking you, the fans to be part of this more and because I, I know I, I like that you know I mean I've already said I was gonna try to do that but I kind of just put that in here just to like as a reminder to myself as well as a reminder to those who haven't been watching my past videos you know and to and by the way to all the new subscribers welcome 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 you are more than welcome here. To all of you who have not subscribed, please do, you know. I know I said subscribe, subscriptions don't matter. What I meant to say was subscriptions, like subscribing doesn't matter to be acknowledged to, to me. I don't like to acknowledge, I don't, it's not the fact that I don't like to acknowledge it, it's just that I don't feel I have to rub it in everybody's face. You know what I mean? I don't have to tell everybody, hey, I have a hundred and something. I have, a, okay, like this. I have four million subscribers. Let's go for four million and one. You know what I mean? 
I just let things happen as they go. I just roll with the motion. I've always been uh, that kind of guy. I've, I've always been that kind of guy. I've always been the kind of guy to just roll with the motions, you know? I've always been that kind of person. I always will be that kind of person. Even if I get really big and I don't mean that's I don't I consider myself big in my own way and popular in my own way. I'm I have a big heart. That girl that makes me very big of a person. You know what I mean? That makes me big at heart. I'm popular in my own mind, but I'm popular for a different reason. I'm rich in what I have because I'm not rich money wise, but I'm rich in happiness because of what I have, which I don't have much, but it's enough. And for that, that makes me rich. So that's just how it is. And I just felt like saying all that for no reason, just because. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, because, yeah, cause I had to, because I wanted to. Didn't have to or anything, but I just wanted to. Fuck! I died again! This has some Let's go ahead and do this. All right. We did. Okay, cool. I'll let y'all go ahead and open this. You know, you seem to be so anxious to go. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess we're going to end this episode with that. So, <laughs> this is Buster Boy 46 signing off saying, Game on, rock out, stay frosty. That part is very, very tricky. That was towards the end, by the way. But, yeah, we're going to continue forward with this episode, the next episode. Later, everybody.